Coach Derek Dooley. Thank you. This is a rare occasion for me, I want to tell you. In fact, it's the first time ever that I've spoke uh, in the middle of the season. Uh, so this is new to me. And uh, I forgot I had it on my calendar, and when I saw it yesterday, uh, had I known I was going to have to come out here and speak to you guys, I would have made sure we played better on Saturday. Uh, so here we are. We find ourselves halfway through the season. Um, obviously, all the concerns – uh, that we had coming into the season of our youth, our inexperience, our uh, depth issues have reared its ugly head uh, on so many occasions in this first half of the season. And so the concerns became realities. They became realities. Uh, what we found is that we have a very small margin of error uh, more than anything on our football team. Uh, because of uh, all the issues that we're, we're facing, it's imperative that we play a clean game, what I call a clean game. Uh, that is a game that doesn't have turnovers, uh, and it's a game that doesn't have costly mistakes and penalties. Uh, it's a game that we go out there and play with tremendous competitive spirit, tremendous effort, tremendous toughness. All those elements have to be in place just to give us a chance, just to give us a chance. And we've shown spurts throughout the season where we've done that. Uh, the greatest example, of course, is uh, the way our team competed in Baton Rouge. Uh, that gave us a chance right there at the end. We had it in our hands and we just didn't finish it off. But what we've also seen is when we don't come out with that kind of competitive spirit and we go out and make some critical mistakes, uh, that all of the concerns and the, and the deficiencies that we have on our team really turn into something bad. And that's what happened the other day. Uh, not, a good, not a good way to compete. Uh, certainly, more than anything, what we're trying to establish is consistency in how we compete. Uh, that's more important to me right now than anything else we can do in our football team. Because I know you guys have seen a lot of football over the years. Uh, and there's nothing more important to me to give back to the fan base than our team go out there and lay it on the line for four quarters lay it on the line every week, playing as hard as you can with great team spirit, with toughness, with effort, all those things that made Tennessee football so special, all those things that the Tennessee teams played with when they were winning consistently. And we've shown that we should be able to do that, but we are not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not competing with the consistency we need to, and we're going to keep challenging our football team. We're not looking the other way. We're not enabling them when they don't do right. And eventually, we're going to play our way into having that kind of consistency over time. Uh, I think when you look at some of the positives uh, over the last six weeks is we got a bright future. Uh, we have a lot of young guys out there playing. In fact, I think never before in the history of the Southeastern Conference have you seen seven true freshmen uh, out there at the same time on offense marching all the way down the field and we get to the two and we don't finish it off. And that's what we had the last drive. But I think we're playing about 16 or 18 true freshmen out there. Uh, and there's times when we get overmatched and we get overwhelmed. But there's a lot of times out there where we see, man, and, you know, when these guys develop and as they keep continuing on and we keep building our roster from the ground up with another great year, uh, that we have a great future. We have a great future here at Tennessee, and I'm excited about it. It makes you excited. Uh, and either way, no matter what the results are, we also can't lose sight of some of the other positive things that are happening in our program, too. And that's some of the stuff that's happening off the field uh, when we were charged here to kind of reshape our culture. Uh, to reshape how we looked at things, to reshape how we develop them off the field. We've put in, you guys have heard a lot about our VFL program, Vault for Life program, uh, which is essentially taking a, a player, a student athlete, and trying to turn them pro as people. They all want to turn pro and go to the NFL, but we know we all got to turn pro as a man and go to the VFL, the Vault for Life program. And we've begun it. It's been great. We've already started our character education component. There's a community service pro uh, component that the players did this summer that's been very beneficial. And we grow into life skills and career development and spiritual growth. All those things that really have nothing to do with football or academics, but everything to do with how you represent this place when you leave Tennessee and how you 
live your life uh, when you leave. So I'm real pleased with where we're headed there. We got a lot of great things going on facility wise. Uh, Mike uh, Hamilton has done a phenomenal job uh, of recognizing uh, some of our facility needs that are going to help us train our players and also in recruiting. And we're on a fast track on some of those things. We're getting a new turf in our indoor, which is very exciting. It's going to be a beautiful showpiece, that indoor. And then we're beginning construction on our football facility. Uh, I know when we built that facility, I guess it was the late 80s, I think. It was state of the art. Uh, it was something. And we were ahead of the game. And then I think that really helped charge the 90s into what the 90s was. But over time, with the way all these programs are going, they keep building, they keep adding, and then you go 15 or 20 years and all of a sudden it's time. Uh, and it's been time. So I'm real pleased with where we're headed from that standpoint, and I'm really excited about the reception we're getting in recruiting. Uh, I can't speak specifically on recruiting because it's against the NCAA rules, but we have a number of commitments, uh, some quality football players, and we've also taken a, a time to really put a lot of thought in our evaluation procedure. What kind of players do we want here in our program? What kind of players do we want representing our team? And that's something that's also been a change because we're really trying to build this program from inside out. And when I say that, I'm talking about starting with a three hour radius to five hour radius from Knoxville where there's a tremendous amount of talent and then taking into account not just their abilities on the field, not just having great size, speed, and football playing ability, but also with the character, the intelligence, uh, the passion for the game, uh, the academics, all those other things that really make the difference on whether a player performs to his capacity or not. And so that's where we're headed. Uh, I, I've never felt better about the future at a program than I do at what we're doing here. Uh, it's a tough time. I know it's a tough time for all of you guys because this is uncharted waters for the University of Tennessee. Uh, it's very difficult to be sitting there going, we're two and four and we're 0 and three, and we gotta feel good. I know it is. And uh, we know there's gonna be setbacks along the way, there always is, but it's not gonna kill our enthusiasm and it's not gonna kill our hope for the future.